Hello to our Yetables. This is Yeti the Samiette and I'm Yeti's mom. And on today's episode of Yeti's Place, we are going to talk about secret training tips for a Samiette. Up next on Yeti's Place. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe. Click that bell notification so you'll be notified of any new releases and comment on our video because Yeti loves hearing from you guys and he even likes commenting back. In order to train this stubborn breed, now stubborn doesn't mean that they're not smart because they are the smartest dog around. So in order to train them, you have to involve treats, which I have plenty of. And I always have plenty of treats while I'm filming with Yeti. Yeti begs me every single time when I get home from work. He tells me, Mom, let's go film YouTube. Mom, 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 let's go film YouTube. Because he wants these treats. He loves the treats. So if there are any treat vendors out there, you guys contact us because Yeti would love eating your treats. So while you're training a Sammy Ed using treats, because like, look at him. Look at how he looks at me when I have a treat. If I put the treat away, he asks me for the treat. Yeti, sit. See how he sat really quickly? Because I had a treat in my hand. If I didn't have a treat in my hand, he'd be like, okay, bye mom. Yeah, I'm gonna give you more treats, don't worry. You'll get plenty more treats. Because you always get treats when we're filming. Sammy Eds are very stubborn dogs. <laughs> Who just happen to be very smart, which means that they don't want to listen to what the people want them to do. They want to do what they want to do because they feel that what they want to do is much more important than what the people want them to do. How to train a stubborn, very intelligent Sammy Ed who doesn't want to do what you want to do. First of all, the treats. See? Yeti, come here. <laughs> Use the treats. And then make the training a fun game for the Sammy Ed. They love playing games. And they love having excitement happen in their lives. If the training is boring, they'll wander away and they'll do something more exciting. Or they'll bark at you, asking you, mom, 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 let's go film YouTube. Mom, 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 play with me. Mom, mom, I need more crunch crunch. Mom, mom, I want more treats. Mom, mom, change your training game up often. When we were working on training Yeti to sit and to stay and to listen, we had to keep that in short time frames, like super short, less than 30 seconds short. So you have to change up that training game often by creating some new fun stuff to train them with. Instead of only the treat, involve some other fun stuff like a squeaky toy or a tennis ball. You give them the treat and then you throw the ball for them after they've done what you want them to do. They're putty in your hands when you do that. Keep those training sessions short to prevent them from getting bored because they get bored really quickly. At the most, two to five minutes. Five minutes might be stretching it quite a bit. When we were involved in puppy class, oh my goodness, Yeti wanted to go and visit all the other dogs. He didn't want to pay attention to me because the trainer wanted him to work on his focusing skills and Yeti doesn't have focusing skills because he's a Samiad. A bored Samiad is never going to listen to their person. So in training school, when, when Yeti got bored, I would sit there and work and work and work on trying to get him to listen to me. He didn't want to listen to me. He didn't even want to listen to the trainer when the trainer came over and tried to work with him because the training session was really long. It was about 45 minutes to an hour. That was much too long for a Sammy Yet. They like reward-based training. What I mean by reward-based training, treats when they do something good you have to say, good boy, Yeti, good boy, or good girl, and whatever your dog's name is, and you have to pet them and act super happy. Then they get happy, and their tails wag all over the place, and they are excited to be training with you. Reward-based training is the treats, first of all, and then also, after they do what you want them to do, you come up to them, yay, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy, and you pet them, and you give them hugs, and then they kiss you back, and yeah, they're happy. The sweetie, no more treats. Involve a lot of playtime. Make it fun for them because they like doing fun things. Repeat your training often with short time frames. If you're working on training them to sit or to stay, work on that for about two minutes at a time, multiple times throughout the day. They will learn and they'll be able to sit. The stay, still working on that with Yeti. 
because Yeti's a Sammy head. Rather than having your dog listen to you, you're going to listen to your dog. You're going to train them how they want to be trained. You're not going to sit there without treats and try to train a Sammy head. You are not going to sit there without reward-based training and expect them to learn. You're going to train them how they want to be trained. Same with when we were training him, puppy training school and dog training school. I had to put myself in his shoes and try to figure out how he wanted to be treated while I was training him. I know it's a strange, strange thing to think of, but with a Sammy Ed being so intelligent, you kind of have to remove yourself from the equation and put yourself into the dog's eyes. Because Yeti, he doesn't feel that I actually adopted him. He feels he adopted me. And he feels that he has lived in my house longer than I have. And that this is his house. And that I just live here. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.